Hello and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin. Great to have you along and thanks for tuning in to another fantastic video. Right, today guys, I am still on the beautiful island of Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. Uh, more specifically, I'm in Puerto del Carmen. Uh, beautiful, beautiful town. And uh, yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Before we do anything, I'll pan round, show you exactly where I am. Guys, check this out. Absolutely beautiful. I'm down by the harbour, uh, Emma's Cantina, uh, straight ahead of me there. The temperature today, according to my finger and finger on the phone, look at this sunshine, absolutely beautiful. It is an amazing 29 degrees, not bad for the first week in October, eh, viewers? Oh, check it out, look at that water, absolutely beautiful. Down by the harbour in Puerto del Carmen. Right, listen, if you're new to the channel, before I tell you what we're going to do, uh, just do a couple of things for me. If you're new, big welcome massive welcome my name's Colin and based in Bournemouth in UK uh, on the south coast uh, I do vlogs not only around my hometown uh, and along the south coast uh, but also go over Tenerife quite a lot and uh, this week my first trip to Lanzarote ever it is the fourth Canary Island I've been to uh, the third one I've actually vlogged uh, so yeah and I'm absolutely enjoying it I'm staying up in Costa Teguise which is a little bit further north uh, staying in a motor home so uh, look out for those vlogs and uh, <laughs> yeah having a bit of fun and today i thought i'd come down puerto del carmen just for a day out and a look around that i've not been here before so a big welcome don't forget hit a thumbs up subscribe if you've not done so because it's free to subscribe and hit the little bell that'll tell you when i'm putting up more fantastic videos there we go right okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna have a little i'm going on an explore um now before I go anywhere, I know I'm going to get loads of comments saying Oh, you should have turned left up there or gone right down there And you should have seen this pub or that restaurant Guys, if I know they're there, I'll go and see them But I'm literally going to walk and point and shoot <laughs> Okay, what I see is what I see Because I've not got a clue what is here So sometimes it's good just to have a little, uh, little dig around, isn't it? So there's a port behind me there Absolutely beautiful down here. Bathing sunshine. Uh, I drove down, I've got a hire car, and uh, drove down. This is Varadero. Oh, yeah, I drove down. Um, only about a 20, 25 minute drive from Costa Teguise to get here. First thing I noticed when I arrived, I parked the car. There's a lot of Irish bars in Puerto del Carmen. <laughs> a lot of steakhouses and a lot of Irish bars. Not that that's a bad thing. I'm just uh, pointing out to those of you who are maybe thinking of coming over. So I'll just uh, quick turn around. El Ancla Steakhouse at Varadero Heineken Bar. One for Webby. And uh, got a little run of restaurants absolutely beautiful here let me know down in the comments have you been to puerto del carmen i know you're going to tell me i've missed this and i've missed that <laughs> i do apologize if i miss your favorite restaurant or whatever um, but like i said i don't know what's here so i'm just going to uh, tell you what i see so if you have been here let me know i'm only literally staying here for the afternoon i'm not staying here tonight not staying overnight the motorhome that i'm renting it's actually it's static i don't drive it around it's based up in costa teguise beers and roses no name for a bar eh? absolutely beautiful check it out guys Backstage food and drinks. Right, uh, I've put up a couple of uh, Lanzarote videos already. I'm only here for four days and I'm getting loads of people saying, Do you prefer it to Tenerife? <laughs> Palace of India. No, thank you, mate. That, that tabernetta. Oh, there's a lot of steakhouses. Smells great, I've got to be honest with you. I've already eaten, just uh, not long had lunch, but uh, 
yeah, you're spoiled for choice. La Dolce Vita, pizza and pasta, mixed tapas. 22 for two people. Oh, there we go. Guys, look at this. What a spot for a swim. Check it out. Absolutely beautiful. <coughs> Hi mate, you alright? Right. Sally Pimenta, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. Sally Pimenta, fish steakhouse. Smells great. Yeah, look at these guys. I got distracted. Look at this little swimming spot down here. Little, little cove. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look, the kayak there. Now, I did actually pop by here about an hour ago and uh, it was a lot clearer. You could see Fuerteventura in the distance. You know, I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. But just in the distance there, you could see the uh, mountains of uh, North Fuerteventura. It's gone out a little bit now. Not sure if there's a Kalima coming. It has gone a bit hazy. There was sand on the car last night. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, so uh, where was I was saying? Oh, look at that, that's cool. Oh, great way of uh, show, showing a menu. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, so people are saying already, what do you prefer, Tenerife or Lanzarote? The big question, isn't it? Uh, I've got to be honest with you, uh, I love Lanzarote. It is absolutely gorgeous. From what I've seen up to now, I'm very impressed. I've always wanted to come here. The sad thing is I'm only here till another couple of days i'm here for like four or five days in total uh, oh this is beautiful look at this and um yeah so i'm not going to be able to see the whole island so i'm not going to know it obviously as well as i know tenerife because i've been tenerife many many times sleepy cat look uh from what i've seen very clean i've got to be honest it looks like you know some of the tourist areas in tenerife uh need a bit of a clean up he's got a dog down there look Setting dog for a swim. Yeah, uh, compared to Lanzarote, yeah, it does need a clean up. Uh, Lanzarote, Costa de Guise, even here, Puerto del Carmen, uh, the other side of the island where I went yesterday as well. Very clean, very well kept, absolutely stunning. I mean, look around you, you know, there's not a scrap of litter. Um, maybe that's the market it caters for, uh, which is obviously different to Tenerife. Um, but I've got to be honest, I do prefer Tenerife. It's a lot livelier, uh, it's, it's got a lot more of what I look for in a holiday. Uh, so yeah, I'll always be Tenerife, but I will be back to Lanzarote because there is more for me to see and do here. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, look at this. What's not to like in the first week in October? Right, we'll have a look up here. <coughs> Excuse my coughing down the camera, folks. Whenever I come abroad for the first day or two, I'm always sniffing and coughing. It's terrible, isn't it? Look at the old flying saucer down there. Tethered to the jet ski. I remember going on one of them with uh, Crapmaster Dan and Mapmaster a couple of years ago. That was a day. Go on Mapmaster's channel, go back about two years and you'll see the video. Oh my word. Uh, Lomo Alto Restaurant Steakhouse. There you go, there's another one from the steakhouse. Apologies if there's any mic noise, wind noise, guys. It is a bit breezy up here. Check out the other videos on the channel, folks. Uh, I say there's quite a lot of uh, Lanzarote videos that are going to be put up if they're not up already by the time you've seen this. So if you've never been, go and have a look. It's literally me showing you what I see. I don't know that much about the island. There are other channels that I've mentioned. Uh, if you want information about Lanzarote, uh, best hotels, best bars, best Chinese restaurants, best places to put your car. There's others out there, Scotsman in Tenerife, Travel on Dave. They're well more better positioned than I am. 
to uh, the Egyptian vulture. I've seen a couple of them. I know what they are now. They're like a cross between a seagull and a chicken. <laughs> there's one that park the parks. There's one that uh, sits right by the motorhome. I'll uh, post a picture of it. Nice mural. Yeah, uh, so yeah, they're, they're better placed. Uh, I'm just literally showing you what I see and I uh, hope you're enjoying them. We'll have a little nosy down to this bit here. Looks like a little water sports centre, so it's always worth a look. So let me know down below from what you've seen. If you've never been, would you come here? I've had a few people saying, you know, like I say, is it better than Tenerife? Would you? People are saying, you know, is Tenerife gone now and we're coming to Lanzarote for the foreseeable? No, it isn't. This was just a one-off trip. I'm here with some mates. And I thought, why not? Somewhere different. But rest assured, uh, yeah, Tenerife is still the number one. Well, let me know what you think. That looks very refreshing, doesn't it? <laughs> Diving off the uh, little jetty there into the sea. It is very, very warm today. Today, I've been here, what, three, four days, and today is by far the warmest day I've had here. It's absolutely beautiful, and the breeze you're seeing, or hearing, you can see the palm trees sort of swaying a bit. It's not a cold or refreshing breeze, it's actually a weird, very warm breeze. Right, let's go and have a look at the uh, little water sports centre here. Bar Playa Restaurant, nice down here, but it's nice down here in early evening. I'm guessing the sun will set sort of behind us, it's mid-afternoon now and the sun's over in that direction, so... Uh, you wouldn't get a sea sunset where I was I'm gonna put a video up if it's not already up I did a little surfing break yesterday cracking sunsets on the other side of the island on the west side absolutely beautiful oh my word look at this so we've got a little seafood restaurant here and a little water sports center at the end let's have a look Lanzarote Paracraft watersportslanzarotti.com absolutely fantastic and just behind a little hidden gem of a beach check this out guys absolutely beautiful look at that everyone's out fantastic beautiful Right, okay, hope you enjoyed that little walk from uh, the harbour by the old town uh, right to this little beach here and a little water sports centre where they are all still jumping off into the sea. I'm tempted to go and join them, it's absolutely baking. <laughs> yeah, oh, it looks fantastic. Honestly, I'm so impressed with Lanzarote, it's absolutely beautiful. If you do get the chance to come and you are stuck in Tenerife and you only want to go to Tenerife, take my advice, come over and have a look. Anyway, listen, thanks for watching. Uh, social media's coming up. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Straight after this, uh, you'll see a thing. Follow me on Facebook and all that. Send me a message or drop a comment down below. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share as well, and hit the bell for notifications. Loads more videos coming from a beautiful Puerto del Carmen in Lanzarote. I'll see you in the next one.